I just hung the ball. The tables were a little wet, and that's my excuse for today. I hung up a ball, and that's all Gabe needed. Uh, he went up two to one, and uh, wound up beating me three to one. So we had a good time. Yeah, Joey, I just got a note here that showed our 8 o'clock match is going to be Earl Strickland and Efren Reyes. So that ought to be a match. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's the uh, the challenge match. That'll be a big challenge match. So uh, we'll see how that goes uh, later on tonight. that 10 ball it, that didn't help him com continue to, to make this run I don't know if he's going to risk uh, shooting this one ball right now it's a risky shot very risky <laughs> that cue ball is aimed at that stack and moving balls to the other man's hole so if he misses surely Cliff will have a uh, shot at the at his hole I think he might kick at this 15, maybe softly. Or he may even be able to hit the 15. He's going yeah. for it. He's the shooter. This guy plays nine ball. Yeah, and he struck. But as you can see, if he would have um, missed it, uh, Cliff would be uh, back into the ball running mo mode. I think Brandon's in a little tough spot here. Not really that much. The one pocket finals uh, should be on uh, Thursday. That is correct. Uh, the time of the uh, challenge match is at 8 o'clock tonight. Is that right, Joe? Eight, was it 8? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Earl Strickland and Efren Reyes. You all stay tuned. I think uh, we're getting some of these uh, audio problems worked out, and hopefully uh, you all can uh, enjoy the match with us. Yes, it will be on this table. The, uh, the players will uh, be playing on the same table. Oh, look at this. Thing. Well, thanks for that shout, K. Jeanette. We're glad that the audio is working well and that you're all hearing us. We don't have access to the uh, board right now or any doors that we can share with you. We may be able to get some of those scores for you though in a few minutes. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen Brandon play. I, I'm, I'm impressed with his style of play. You know, I like an offensive player. <laughs> and he definitely does play offensive. Uh, he's, he, he's, he looks like a nine ball player to me. <laughs> well, they're always on the move, aren't they? <laughs> he's not, he doesn't duck very much, does he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Robert Newkirk, my uh, other pal uh, and commentator from yesterday. Silver Cho and uh, Shane Van Boning, uh, yeah. They, oh, but they play each other. Win, win, uh, Robert. Maybe it'll be in the finals and you'll have both horses. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it, Robert?
Well, that was pre pretty quick work there. And the score is two to one uh, with Brandon Chuff leading and uh, Cliff ranking and breaking. Okay, sounds looks like our audio disappeared again. Testing. Oh, you still hear the audio? Audio is good. Is that right? Okay. Well, we just, uh, the commentators uh, don't have the audio in, uh, but uh, the Internet people are out there, and they're letting us know that they still hear us loud and clear. Yep. There went that third ball break again. Well, it looks like our audio has just come back on. Yep. We can now, just keep now it's up. going. Uh, now it's breaking, coming in and out. Okay. Uh, the internet uh, crowd says that uh, we're loud and clear. And Joe, uh, what's uh, what's this uh, score look like right now? Has anyone made a ball yet? I'm not uh, real sure. I've just these knobs up here straightened out. Yeah. Well, you're so doing a fine three, job. Six, the internet nine, crowd says uh, the audio is just great. Uh, the video is, uh, they're, they're complaining about it being out of focus. I don't know what that problem is. That's uh, two balls there. Is, is he looking at that 13? I believe that's the, oh, the 12 ball, huh? Yeah, it's the 12 ball. Oh, combo. Sorry about that. It's kind of hard to tell from up here really which angle they're shooting at. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the same way you did. I thought he was shooting this, that 12 ball also. Mm-hmm. That's right. The score is three to zero with uh, Brandon leading uh, two one. The ball returns a little slow, so the players have to wait for the um, for the balls to come back down. It takes um, almost a minute. Yes. No. Pockets are four and a quarter. Uh, two balls will not fit in the jaws at the same time. What do you think uh, Brandon's going to be up to here, Joe? Looks like he'll be I'm shooting at something, but I don't know what. 
Uh, looks to me like he might be able to move that 14 lower close to this hole and get maybe put the cue ball back in or around the 10 there somewhere. He's the not moment. looking at banking at 11. I don't think so. No, he's playing safe. Isn't he? Or is, no, he's going for it, I guess. Pulling it up there. Yeah, he went for it. Yeah. He's a shooter. You can all, <laughs> we, we'll just uh, lean towards the shooting side uh, when Brandon's at the table because we know he likes to shoot. Yeah, he's definitely aggressive. <laughs> Well, Cliff's got a pretty long shot on that two ball. Uh, that's 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 no gimme if he misses the, the two ball. Uh, he, he might be able to make that eight ball. Yeah, I believe that's what he's going to be shooting at. And he's got to hold that cue so that uh, he either makes a ten ball or slides completely over. He, yeah. he might hit it hard enough to knock that seven. Bank. No, I think he's just going to slide over and then play the 11. Mm-hmm. That looks like a good shot. Oh, my goodness. Well, I missed that in quite a way. A lot of <laughs> unforced errors there. Well, the shooter is back at the table. Brandon Schaff. And I think Jaden might be right there. <laughs> Well, he got a fortunate roll there. Yeah. <laughs> Kissing off from the four ball like that, giving him shape on the seven. Yep. Well, that's that the end of that match. That was pretty quick. Three, three to one. The shooter wins this match. Uh, Joe, uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, your uh, uh, PoolIQ.net uh, website and the videos that uh, you, you sell. Uh, these are pool instruction videos? Uh, yes. The first one that we made was on kick shots so that people could learn how to make their one rail, two rail, three rail, in rail first, two rail, side rail first, three rail, extended three rails, and know where their cue ball is going as long as they hit the ball in the right place on the table with the right uh, spot on the cue ball oh. with their tip. And the cue ball don't know who hit it, so it goes and does the same thing for everyone. All you got to do is know where to hit it. And your video so sh show this in detail? Uh, yes, explicitly, because we have the drawings of the angles of the cue ball on them. We have uh, uh, where the cue makes contact on the cue ball, which is one of the most important things. And uh, they're done by my students, uh, the Benk Benke family. Uh, they play extremely well. They've all been champions. And hopefully uh, people who see these DVDs can also get a, get a little bit of information out of them and raise their game up quite a bit. If you get a chance, you can visit the site at uh, pooliq.net. Hopefully, you'll order them. Well, uh, this uh, ends this uh, match, and uh, we've enjoyed uh, working with you, Joe. And uh, this is going to go down to uh, Jessica. Okay. And uh, for Gabe's mom and the other poster, uh, had asked uh, what was the score between Gabe and I. The score was three to one, and uh, that's uh, it. Could have been a little closer, but uh, Gabe uh, put the whipping on me. Next time, I think uh, Gabe's mom was pulling a little, a little hard for him. Well, all right. Uh, looks like uh, we're getting ready to do an interview with Brandon Schuff and Jessica. 
They're setting up the uh, cameras and. Well, Joey, I want to thank you for inviting me up here. It was really exciting. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you were available, Joe. I hope to be in the booth with you again in the future. Uh, you know the game uh, very well, and I've had uh, a lot of uh, experience, uh, personal experience, uh, with you on the road and being uh, in tournaments and competing. And you've taught me a lot about pool, and I just want you to know that I've appreciated everything that you've taught me, and I put it to good use. Uh, I've uh, beat some good players this tournament, and uh, you know uh, there'll be other tournaments for me to play in, and uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll be using some of those. Uh, uh, those uh, techniques that you show about uh, the precision uh, uh, Q, uh, sh uh, Q control uh, in your pool IQ videos, they, it really works, Joe. And that's uh, that's my personal experience, not just my uh, personal feelings. Well, that's gl I'm glad to hear that. Well, good. Well, right now we're doing an interview with Brandon Schaff and Miss Jessica. Trigger, are you uh, on the air there? I'm going to come from them again. There we go. Check, one, two, three, four. Check, check. Fun stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Joe and Joey. I'm Jessica Barton here with Brandon Schaff, who just be beat Cliff Joyner in one pocket. Now you're moving on. Good stuff, right? Yep, yep, played pretty good. You know, I came with a couple devastating shots, and he missed a couple hangers that I was expecting him to make, and I ended up winning. That's usually how it goes. So you said you got a couple lucky breaks there, or he made a couple mistakes, which opened it up for you. And did you have any strategies that you had to work out here playing against him? Well, one, one game came down to I needed one ball, and he needed four, and all of them were up table. And uh, he plays the up table game real sporty. I mean, I do as well, but, you know, he obviously plays it a lot better than me because he came back and, and won that game. So, or I mean, I won that game, but he came back – so we were both needed one, and it was just tough action the whole time. But he, he plays real good. You know, he, he missed a couple balls that I left him, and that's why I won, basically. If he would have made all the shots I left him, I would have lost. But that's how pool goes, you know. Right, so it really worked out for you. And I also saw that you made a couple really interesting good shots. You had um, one that was really up table, brought it back down. Tell me oh, a little yeah. about some of your good shots. Yeah, I, well, you know, devastating shots are the best answer. That's how you win, you know. Uh, only shoot at it when you know you can make it, and that's usually the rules I abide by. But, you know, sometimes I don't shoot it, sometimes I do. And uh, the ones that I did come with, I had to shoot them, so it's like I had no other option. So as long as I make it, it looks devastating. You know, it's hard for a pl the other player to play good under those conditions. So he saw me come with a couple good shots, and it made him miss the ones that I left him. So I guess that's usually, you know, how I win. So I guess the brush, pressure was turned up pretty uh, good on the table for you guys, and it worked out Definitely. in your favor, huh? Yeah, it, it, it did. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my game right now. Awesome. Well, hopefully that continues for you because right now you're Thank guaranteed you. fifth, six yeah. up in the final four. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I'm looking for my first major one-pocket title, so uh, hopefully this could be it. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you so much for talking to me, Thank Brandon. Uh -huh. And uh, back up to you guys in the booth. All right. Uh, well, Jessica, thanks very much. Uh, we enjoyed that interview. And uh, Joe V, right, Joe well, Viapondo, nice it's uh, been a pleasure working with you. And uh, we'll be uh, seeing uh, you Internet fans out there on the next stream. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully uh, we'll get these uh, audio problems worked out. And uh, 
Joe, again, uh, thanks for uh, being with me in the booth. I hope you'll uh, come back and visit with me again soon. Any time at all, Joey. I really enjoyed it. It's a wonderful experience being up here. Well, great, Joe. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and we'll see all you fans out there on the next uh, uh, stream. Uh, talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. That was fun. Great recovery, guys. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jim. We couldn't figure it out, actually. We, we, I did a reboot. Reboot, reboot. Yeah, yeah. That's like, no, I did a reboot. Did. Nobody knew that it was going to happen. I, I looked down, and I was plugging in a wire, but one of the wires got laid over top of the switch for the whole uh, setup. Pulled it. <laughs> and I went, duh. Guys. <laughs> Bobby Pickle to the tournament desk, please. Yeah, well, it was like something